Nintendo. Nintendo! What are you doing? So, I know most of you fanboys, or people that even support the Wii U just in general, you all, we all wonder about why is there no third-party support, and we all blame it on the install base. Or you guys all blame it on the install base. I, I already knew this, but I'm just going to cover this article because now it's publicly known. So, you know, <laughs> I can kind of go over it and have the proof for you that the Wii U just wasn't... Well, I'll let this article explain. Um, there are a lot of articles on this. <laughs> They're all from different companies, but um, the one that I'm seeing on Cinema Blend, it has excerpts of... Um, Oh wait, this one is just from the same developer. So um, let me just go ahead and say how people explain the um, well. not explain, but give hints on who the deve um, developer is. They say that they made a launch game for the Wii U that was glossy and did not sell well. It's only two damn games I can think that that could possibly be. It won't be Bandai Namco because they don't want to get flashed up before Smash. And like I said, there's only two things I can think about: Ninja Gaiden Three or Mass Effect Three. Neither one of them really sold well, but that's not the point. We don't need to know who this developer is to know what they're saying. And personally, if it's either of those two, I won't mat. I, I don't care as long as they're not bashing the system unreasonably, because they both optimized their games for the Wii U. Mass Effect 3 was optimized and was steadiest on the Wii U. Ninja Gaiden 3 was optimized and for the most part was steadiest on the Wii U, because I have both games, so... I know that. But, um, getting into the article, <laughs> I'm gonna kill the fanboys. The almost universal answer was that the Wii U wasn't going to be powerful enough to run next-gen engines, and might even struggle to do current-gen PS3 and Xbox 360 titles. End quote. Struck quote. Wii U seemed to be trying at every turn to make it difficult to compile and run any code on it. Nintendo has provided an integration of their development tools into Visual Studio, the de facto standard for development, but it didn't work, not even close. As a seasoned developer, I've used a lot of debuggers, but this one even surprised me. Its interface is clunky. All of these things made the actual development of code harder than it should have been and ate into the development time of the game. So I'm going to simplify this um, so you guys can understand if you don't understand exactly what he just said. Pretty much what he was trying to say was the hardware is so odd to develop for that it actually cuts into the development time of the game. There are some features that have to be taken out. And to make me think about this even more, I'm thinking that um, you guys know when Ubisoft had said that there wasn't going to be any co-op for Splinter Cell Blacklist on the Wii U, and they said it was because of the gamepad integration. I really think that it wasn't just the gamepad integration. I also think that it was the fact that developing that game for the Wii U must have took a lot of time, because that game will even sometimes go down as low as 18 to 16 frames a second. I know, because once again, I have the game. So I'm just going to go ahead and give my thoughts about this entire article and everything. Um, where should I start? Because there are a couple of things. There are people that are saying that Nintendo being so unique actually hurts them. I agree. I think that the gamepad, as much as it does help enliven some experiences, it's actually holding most games back because the developers have to try to get creative which cuts into development time for the actual console. Another problem, the hardware is so unique, it's almost impossible to develop for. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm about to get into this point, but it doesn't even support DirectX 11 or OpenGL, which if you don't know are standard APIs or development, um, Wait, how should I say, the systems that sh um, are used to develop games. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because people asked why isn't the Wii U getting Kingdom Hearts 3, and why they're making petitions for Final Fantasy 15 and Kingdom Hearts 3 on the Wii U, and not, I meant, um, why is it not coming there? Um, the reason why is, like I said, it doesn't support DirectX 11, which is what they're using to develop the game. <sighs> and I made a video on this, like, during the summer. But this, 
I, I don't know what Nintendo's thinking. Another thing that I have a problem with them is that they it feels like they chose the exact they chose hardware like the 360 and PS3 because they thought, hey, it's going to be able to run these current gen games. But what they forgot is that the PS4 and Xbox One or the Xbox 720 at that time, they forgot that they're going to have stronger hardware. And that game developers want stronger hardware. It's like they thought that because it worked for the 360 and PS3, it would work for the next 10 years. Which is another problem people are forgetting. This hardware is supposed to last 10 years. So you're telling me a game that can't run games right now like The Division and doesn't support games like Kingdom Hearts 3 or Final Fantasy 15 is supposed to survive for the next 10 years you gotta be joking how is this hardware going to last i don't even think i'm being completely honest i think that after a while these games are going to look exactly like they did on the wii where you had the ps3 and xbox 360 version the perfect game to implement that is 2k12 everybody had their own shot everybody had all their own features um features etc the problem is you know what happened with the Wii version? No one had their own shot. Everybody had the exact same shot form. There were missing modes. There was no online. Etc. And I feel like Nintendo just didn't prepare for it. Like, dumbasses, to say the least. Excuse my language. I'm trying to lighten up on that language. I haven't been using cursing a lot. I haven't tried to use it very often, but, um... That's my problem with Nintendo. The problem is that they try to be so unique that it hurts them. And another thing is that they live in the past. They looked at their mistakes and what they should have done with the Wii and try to convert that to the Wii U when what they should have done was l combine that with the... You gotta think about your developers. The third-party developers. They're forgetting about them. It's like they're treating them purposely like dirt and like they just want them to die. And the developers don't care. They'll let Nintendo die. And so will, our, so will the fans. I'm already letting them die. <laughs> you don't lift them policies, you don't get no free advertisement. So you know my opinion about the matter now. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. I will see you all later, and if you're wondering what game I'm playing in the background, I'm playing um, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core on the PSP emulator. Um, it's like 8.03. I need to finish homework. <laughs> you're gonna ask why I always wait to do homework after I do this stuff, or why I started so late. It's actually already started. I have, like, a page to get through, and then I'll be done. And I have everything else done. I think I have, like, one project. It's like a music project. It won't take me more than 15 minutes. But if I'm correct, we'll scapegoat out of it. But I'll, I'll try to get it done tonight. But anyways, I will see you all later. Deuces.